Hallelujah! How's it going? My name is Blessius, and if you're like me, and you're kind of wary if Destiny 2 is going to be action-packed, whether it's story or full of lore, I think the latest IGN video featuring, well, the story of creating a lightless world kind of put me to ease. Someone that played Alpha, Beta, and Destiny, I always thought, not knowing how the game was progressing, not really checking online, I thought it was a game that was like a, a experimental thing that might have had, you know, stories every two weeks, but it wasn't that, it was, you know, Destiny Expansion 1, Expansion 2, Ticket King. I, I know that there was a Reddit thread uh, that, you know, combined all the maps that were ever shown of Nessus, and they said that there's about 20 maps, or 20 story missions, on that one planet alone, and that's about what Destiny 1 had, and I don't know, that, that just gets me excited. They said in the video, uh, the two guys that were interviewed at Bungie, uh, one of the narrative leads and one of the cinematic leads, they, they said that they, they hope that there's a Reddit thread that says there's entirely too much story, and uh, they would get a chuckle out of that. For me, that is something that is just amazing, and I think that, uh, like I've said this before, I, I'm a complete lore nerd in the Destiny realm. I, I don't make videos about that. I absolutely adore Myerlin and My Name is Bife. And I, I love the fact that, you know, they brought this story to the game. And the fact that, you know, Destiny is coming around and spending all this time creating what they say is expansive worlds with expansive stories and cinematics. That is something that I am very, very excited about. Whether it's the story about, you know, finding yourself as a guardian. What they say is, you know, you were Superman. Gaul came around and all of a sudden you're permanently Clark Kent. Whether it's a story of, you know, Destiny 1, Vanilla was kind of about the Traveler, then the DLCs didn't really touch on the Traveler at all, and now we're going back to the Traveler. So I, I hope that, you know, the foundation that Destiny 1 set, Destiny 2 is going to build upon, but answer some real questions that I had about, you know, what is... You know, what is the Traveler? You know, that, that piece that came off Traveler and is in your, the European Dead Zone? We're gonna kinda, get, I hope, go into that and find out what is inside this Traveler? Is it, a, is it like an egg that everyone thought it was? And scrapping how they did D1 with its non-linear approach. And I hope they go a little bit more linear approach. Obviously they are if they're doing the storyline where you have to go and kind of just you get your light back, and then you try to find ways to give it back to whether it's Cade, whether it's Ikora, whether it is anyone like Savala, or maybe even Shax. I hope there's some side quests that you have to give Shax back his light, and you know, he gives you this awesome freaking crucible weapon that is just the bee's knees. That would be super awesome. There is a little cinematic Shax piece that was shared on Twitter, and I don't know, it's always encouraging to hear Shax tell you that you're something that could fight in the Crucible, in Shax's Crucible. I just think that it's so freaking awesome. One week away from Destiny 2's beta, we get to go to the farm for that, well, one day, one hour for that one day. We get to do two Crucible maps, two Crucible game modes, Homecoming Story Mission, and the Inverted Spire freaking strike. I, I, I feel like a, a kid you know, eight years old waiting on a Pokemon game. I'm so excited and you know what, Destiny 2 and Bungie, listen, I have a lot of hope in you. I, as someone that loves a good story and is very excited about what is going to be delivered upon, I hope that there's this big, you know, cinematic at the end where we face off against Gal, Gary, Glenn Ross, Gil, and all the Guardians come back together with their light and he's like, what is this light? I don't know, I'm just rambling now. I just have so many high hopes about this and that video that IGN shared, which I highly suggest you check out, kind of just quelled my my worries about it. I'm just very excited about it. And, ooh, one week away. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And, ooh, if you can't tell, I'm just a little excited that there's going to be story, story, story. Until next time, Kawabunga!